Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise Horn and if you are returning to my channel, thank you ever so much for all your support. I, um, I've just recently got up to 48 subscribers. Over the last couple of days I've had a little flurry of uh, new subscribers and it, it really, really does mean the world to me. And so thank you ever so much for everybody who is subscribed and for everybody who keeps returning to uh, to my videos because uh, yeah it's it, it's what I do this for I uh, I make these videos and I am doing it so that you guys can can watch all my videos that I make and so yeah it really does mean the world to me so uh, yeah thank you for for subscribing and for everybody who likes as well and uh, comments on all my videos but uh, what today's video is all about is my empties for February. This is my very first empties video because my channel is quite new I haven't done an empties video yet and so these are the things that I have used throughout February. Now there are a few staples in here which I will repurchase on a regular basis and then there are some things that I have tried and I have liked and then there's a few things that I've tried and I didn't particularly like or um, I didn't really think that anything really good about it and so I think that yeah it was all right but I wouldn't repurchase and so anyway stop me babbling on I'll um, get right into the video so the first item that I um, I've gotten the top of this little bag is the Nivea double effect eye makeup remover now this is one of my staples I do buy this on a regular basis yeah there's two layers and you shake it before you put it on a cotton pad and um, yeah pop it onto your eye and you just then wipe away the uh, the eye makeup now um, I do really like this product like I say it is something that I do continue to repurchase all the time um, and it does say that it will remove waterproof mascara now I don't really wear more I don't really wear waterproof mascara so I'm not really sure how good it is at effectively removing waterproof mascara but I think that it is a really nice eye makeup remover um, and that goes nicely into the next item that I want to talk about and that is my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now I use these on an evening to remove my makeup so I will remove my eye makeup with the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover and then I will take the rest of my makeup off with the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now the reason why I do this is because I wear contact lenses and so the um, Nivea Eye Makeup Remover is okay with contact lens whereas Whereas the Take the Day Off Balm, I did contact Clinique and ask them if they think that I should be using this with contact lenses and their recommendation was no, you shouldn't be using it because it's got an oil, they said, then you shouldn't be using this with contact lenses. But then this has got an oil in it as well, but this is for contact lens wearers. So yeah, I don't really get what they were saying with it being an oil but I have removed my eye makeup with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and it left like a residue on my contact lens for a little while which I didn't really like and so um, yeah that is why I use the double effect eye makeup remover first to remove my eye makeup and then I will take off all the rest of my makeup with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I have repurchased this before, I've had this a few times. Now I would repurchase this but I do have quite a few other cleansers that I would like to use and so I don't think I will be repurchasing this at this moment in time but it is a really good makeup remover. Now the next empty is this simple kind to skin vital vitamin foaming cleanser now this is basically my nighttime skincare routine 
take the eye makeup off, take the rest of my makeup off and then I like to double cleanse and so I usually go in with a foaming cleanser as well after I've used my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. So I would just put a couple of pumps onto my hands and it's just massage into wet skin and then rinse. And so this is for sensitive skin and it is a perfect blend of multivitamins and skin loving ingredients and it removes impurities and traces of makeup and it makes your skin feel cleansed and refreshed with added moisturisers and it is perfect for even the sensitive skin and so um, yeah I really do like the simple vital vitamin foaming cleanser this is something that I repurchased only yesterday and so yeah definitely something that I would recommend so the next empty is from the brand Soap and Glory this is their bubble bath calm one and it smells beautiful I really like the smell of the um, I think it's like the original formula I think it's called and so um, I know they do this in the body wash as well so it's the same smell in the body wash um, but yeah this again is something that I repurchase it is on my bath at the moment um, and so yeah I have repurchased this and I will continue to repurchase it because I think it's really really nice it smells lovely I really like a bubbly bath and so I do tend to get the bubble bath rather than like a cream bath because I do like my bubbles in my bath and this does give a lovely bubbly bath and it smells beautiful it makes your skin feel really nice and soft as well after you've got out of the bath because of the added body lotion as well that's in the uh, bubble bath definitely will repurchase it's one of my staples that I really really like um, love a bubble bath so yeah that's another empty now this one is from Imperial Leather now I got this in my glossy box and it is the Foam Burst Luxurious Body Wash in Unicorn Marshmallow and it was limited edition. You um, you squirt it out and it and it's like a um, like a I don't know is it a foam? It does say foam burst, so it is a foam and then yeah, you, you rub it in and then rinse. Um, would I buy this again? I wouldn't go out and purchase this. I didn't think it was great, it was alright, it smelt really nice. But to be honest, I do think it's a bit gimmicky. I prefer just a normal body wash, to be honest. Now the next empty is the um, S Factor TG. And this is the Lasting Colour Conditioner. Now, I did have the shampoo that goes with this conditioner, um, but my shampoo was empty a couple of months ago. I always go through more shampoo than what I do conditioner. do really like it. It smells really, really nice. It really smells nice. I do like the smell. Would I repurchase it? Yes, I think I would. Although at the moment I have got the bedhead um, colour goddess and so I've got the shampoo, the conditioner and the hair mask in the colour goddess um, and so I have repurchased that a few times whereas I've only got this once but yeah it is a nice conditioner, it does make your hair feel lovely and soft and so um, yeah. I would repurchase it but um, yeah I think I'd probably reach for my colour goddess more than what I would for this but nice conditioner anyway now these two are the Maria Neela true soft shampoo and conditioner now I got these in my I think it was my glossy box 
advent calendar and I really really liked this shampoo and conditioner um, it says that it's 100% vegan and cruelty free it's got softening argan oil it's sulfate and paraben free it's got a color guard complex and I was really, really impressed with both of these that I went and had a look to see where I could purchase these from. And you can get you can get them on Amazon and they've got lots of different types as well. This is the true soft shampoo and conditioner and you can get a colour uh, shampoo and conditioner and I think you can get a repair shampoo and conditioner as well. And so uh, definitely something that I would be repurchasing. I think this is definitely better than the s factor true lasting color and it smells really nice and so um yeah definitely something that i will repurchase and i do really really like it it made my hair feel lovely and soft really manageable as well yeah really really impressed with those i really really like them definitely one that i will repurchase now the next item in here is these number seven Radiant Results Revitalizing Cleansing Wipes. Now I got this, I got these in a gift set. So I didn't actually purchase these separately. They were in a nice big gift set that I got from Boots. And yeah, I used these to remove my makeup. I don't usually use wipes to remove my makeup, but I thought I'll use them, see how I get on with them and they are suitable for sensitive skin and it's for radiant and healthier looking skin. They didn't make me break out and yeah they removed my makeup quite well. I still like to double cleanse and so even after I removed my makeup with these wipes I then used my foaming cleanser as well but uh, yeah they were good at removing makeup. Would I repurchase them? Um, no, I wouldn't repurchase them because I don't usually use makeup wipes. Now, if I was to use makeup wipes, I would repurchase them because they were good as makeup wipes. But yeah, I just don't tend to use makeup wipes. I do like to use a, um, a cleanser and double cleanse my skin. So yes, I would repurchase if I was to buy some makeup wipes. But yeah, I wouldn't repurchase because I don't use them. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, the next item is another one of my staples. I have spoken about this in my uh, morning skincare routine video. And this is the Clinique All About Eyes. Yeah, I do really like this eye cream. I have repurchased it. It is something that I'm using now um i have got it in my bathroom and yeah i would definitely repurchase the eye cream i think it is good for um for sorting out dark circles and puffiness in a morning when you haven't had much sleep um but yeah i would definitely repurchase this and i have repurchased it is the eye cream that i usually use on the morning now the next item is this Skin Chemist's 24 hour aqua repair facial serum. Now I really liked this facial serum. I think the smell is beautiful. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so, so nice. I love it. I got this in a glossy box and um, would I repurchase? Yes, definitely. I think I have got quite a few serums that I need to use up. And so I think once I'm in a position where I need to buy some more serum, then I think I will probably go onto Facebook and ask anybody if they have got any of this to sell because I, um, I think it's really, really nice definitely something that I would um, use again because I really liked it. 
I've got sensitive skin, it didn't make me break. Ow, I love the smell. The smell is beautiful. I think that's the best thing about it. It smells beautiful and it makes your skin feel really nice and soft as well. And so, uh, yeah, definitely would repurchase that serum. The next one is the Wet n Wild Matte Primer. Now, I spoke about this in my favourites video, and so um, would I repurchase this? Yes, I would definitely repurchase this. I haven't though, but that is only because I have got so many primers that I need to try out. And so I haven't repurchased this primer, but it is one that I would repurchase because I did like it. It is apply to clean skin, use under foundation to control shine and achieve a matte finish. And it's lightweight, refines the appearance of pores and smooth skin for an even makeup application. So yeah, definitely would repurchase, but not at the moment because I've got so many primers that I need to try out. Really nice primer, but I don't need to repurchase any at the moment. Now, following on from that primer, I got a few of these Estee Lauder The Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer samples. Now, I was really impressed with this primer. It goes on your skin really, really nice. It smooths out your skin and uh, yeah, I just really, really liked it and I found that my skin wasn't getting as oily um, throughout the day as what it has been doing previously. Now, would I purchase this primer? Yes, I definitely would. I was really impressed with it and I thought it was really, really good. So I would definitely repurchase this. The only thing is, I don't need to purchase any primers, like I said when I was talking about the uh, Wet n Wild Matte Primer. I don't need any primers because I've got so many that I need to start trying to get through and, and testing. And so, really, really impressed with the Estee Lauder Primer. And yes, I would definitely repurchase or should I say purchase because I haven't purchased this before it was just a um, a little sachet that I've used and I did have a few of these sachets I had about seven so I did get to test this out quite quite thoroughly and I really really liked it so yeah definitely something that I would repurchase now the next item is this Philip Kingsley Flake It Itchy Scalp Shampoo. Now, um, this I wasn't impressed with. Uh, I did watch uh, Museum Girl 135's Empties last night and I've got to agree with her on this that, yeah, I also found that it didn't lather up and I do like my shampoo to lather up and um, yeah it didn't do anything really for my hair would I repurchase this no I wouldn't I'm not impressed I'm not going to be purchasing it the next thing is this Clinique chubby stick sample that I got in my Clinique advent calendar and this again was in my favorites video and I really, really liked this. It's a, uh, a lip balm in the colour 07 Super Strawberry. Now, I would definitely repurchase this. I thought it was a really nice natural colour. And I had a look on the Clinique website and it was £18.50, I think it was, for a three gram sized lip balm and they do have a um, a sale on at the moment on some items and there are some of these tiny little one gram lip balms and there is a strawberry lip balm in that set and so I think I might purchase that set and I think it's something it was about £16 or something and you got I think five of these little um, one gram um, sample sized balms 
and so I think they're really handy for your purse or um, your bag and so I think I'll probably purchase the uh, the little gift set type thing instead of going for the full size but definitely would repurchase and I would purchase the full size as well but I just think because there's a gift set and it's got this and four more other colours I might as well try the other colours out as well and so yeah definitely repurchasing that one. Now the next thing is another shampoo now this one was it's um Kerastis. I don't really know how you pronounce that but anyway it is this shampoo and it is for dry hair and there's no sulfates no silicones and this one from what I can remember nothing really to write home about this one didn't lather up from what I can remember um, and like I said I do like shampoo to lather up so that I feel like I'm getting a really good clean um, and so would I repurchase this? No I wouldn't repurchase this one but I have heard good things about the brand and so um, I think I would purchase a same brand but a different shampoo one for my hair type because this is dry hair and I do get quite oily hair um, and so I would try a different shampoo from the same brand but for my hair type and see if that makes a difference but I wouldn't go out and repurchase this uh, this shampoo. Now this one is the Retinal Youth Renewal Serum by Murad. Now I um, use this at night. I can't really remember much about it to be honest. Would I repurchase? No, I don't think I would. Um, I think there are serums out there that are, um, are really good and yeah nothing to write home about and so uh, yeah no I wouldn't purchase this again and um, my next item is this it's intuition and it is I think it's a Wilkinson sword um, razor now I got this in a glossy box it was a special glossy box where you got a glossy box with 10 items in it for £10 and so this basically cost me a pound and um, it's what I thought was gimmicky you can use it going both ways so you can shave going that way and you, then you can just go back up and shave that way so I did think when I first saw it I thought it was a bit gimmicky and I've used it and I'm gonna have to throw the blade away but I really really liked this razor I think it's it's really really good I do like the fact that you can go up and down when you are shaving and it makes your legs feel lovely and smooth after you've used it and it's really good for your underarms as well because your underarm hair grows in all different directions. It is really good to get all those hairs. Um, and yeah, really, really impressed with this razor. And I have gone and bought myself some replacement blades. I bought them yesterday when I also bought myself some of the simple foaming cleanser. Went to Sainsbury's and they have got an offer on at the moment with the blades that they are three for £10 instead of three for £12. Um, but yeah, really, really liked this razor and definitely would repurchase the blades because yeah it's not gimmicky it really does work and I do think that it makes your skin feel lovely and smooth after you've used it and so uh, yeah 
really pleased that that came in one of my little glossy boxes. That's that's what's so great about subscription boxes because you try things that you wouldn't necessarily purchase yourself. And so yeah, really good razor. And the next item is the Clinique Smart Night Moisturiser. Um, and so this, I got this in my advent calendar. Now, I have got myself another one of these little pots using the Feel Unique sample service, which is another one of my videos. But I really do like the uh, Clinique Repair Moisturiser. It's supposed to uh, seek out the areas of your skin that need repairing. And uh, yeah, really, really nice. If you have watched my videos before, you will know that I do like Clinique stuff. I have got a few different Clinique skincare and makeup. But yeah, really, really nice night cream. Would I purchase the full size of this night cream? Yes, I, I would, because I do like a good night cream it's not something that i used to use i used to just use the same cream that i would use on a morning but i have started using a um a night cream now at night time and so yes i would purchase the uh, clinique smart repair night cream now the next couple of items are both clinique and that is the liquid facial soap in mild i got this in my advent calendar really liked the liquid soap um would i purchase the full size of this now i don't think i would purchase the full size of this i did enjoy using the uh, liquid soap but I've got to say I really like my Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash, which I use every morning. And so, um, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this just because I really like my Vitamin C Facial Wash from Soap and Glory. And so, yeah, I don't need a, um, a liquid facial soap. And so, no, I wouldn't purchase the full size of this product it was a good product and yes it was all right but no I wouldn't repurchase and the last item is another Clinique product and that is the custom repair serum now again got this from my advent calendar and you use it twice a day before your moisturizer and I can't really remember much about when I was using this. I um, I used this at the beginning of February and um, yeah, nothing to write home about again. Um, and so would I repurchase this? No, I wouldn't repurchase this. I have got quite a lot of serums that I need to use, but I do like my uh, L'Oreal Vitalift serum. It is my go-to for serums and so no I wouldn't repurchase this in the full size just because I'm quite happy with the serum that I've got and plus I really like this serum. This serum is definitely one that I would recommend and I like Clinique but yeah this serum definitely better than the Clinique serum in my view only because it makes your skin feel lovely and soft and it smells beautiful I love the smell but uh, yeah not something that I will be repurchasing so anyway that is the end of my video it just seemed like that tip that took me quite a long time um, and so um, yeah sorry if this video has been quite long uh, but if you did like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you like the types of videos that I am putting up on my channel, I do clothing hauls, birch box unboxings, um, 
glossy box unboxings, uh, feel unique pick and mix samples, favourites videos, reviews of products that I'm using. I'm also going to start doing like face masks as well because I have got a few face masks and so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do a face mask video but anyway if that's the sort of thing that you would like to watch then please um, subscribe and um, hopefully I will see you in my next video. Alright then thank you bye